Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. As a part of our Charles Proxy series, today we'll be looking into repeat and advance repeat or repeat advance option in Charles Proxy. We are going to see it in details with respect to demo of an application connected to Android. So let's begin. Today we'll look into the repeat and advance repeat option. For that, as usual, we will be selecting our application that is mountain basket here i'll just right click and try to delete all which is not needed so i'll clear others and here we can see two apis which gets created when our application is launched and the dashboard is loaded so here the home screen is loaded with all the respective apis and this is the particular response for all the text fields and this is our response for the elements or the options in the dashboard of the application. Now what we are going to do, suppose there is a use case of performance testing where you have to repeat the set of API or single API that can be performed using Charles proxy. So how we can do that, we are going to take a look. Secondly, as we are going to hit this particular API from the Charles proxy itself, so it doesn't have any consideration of UI. So there won't be any change on the UI front. Like suppose I'll just right click and I'll click on repeat. Here you will see this particular API, the new homepage API has got repeated, but there has been no change on the UI front. So usually when we are dealing with repeat and repeat advance, there the options or there the changes which are done that is only associated with the API layer of the application. So API means the backend of the application. So what we can achieve using this is if there are simultaneous repeats or there are many, you know, users who are using this application. So what can be the behavior at the backend? We can check it and that can be easily reflected or that can be calculated using certain tools on the backend. So you can check the CPU, memory, RAM usage, and how the object handling or how the memory leak of the application is handled. So that can be checked using repeat and advanced repeat options in terms of performance testing. So let's start with it. For now, I'll clear this and we will start with the simple section that is right clicking and checking repeat. So when we, whenever you click repeat for any API, you will see this particular API has been repeated. Similarly, if you go to get app text, we will repeat and you will see again the same API has been called from the backend and that has been repeated. Now, how can we use it full fledged? So this was about single repeat, right? If you want this particular APIs to be called multiple times, so how we can achieve that, we will check. First of all, let me minimize this because we won't be needing the UI here. And we will go to right click and we'll say repeat advanced. Here you will see we have two options that is iterations and concurrency. So concurrency is number of users who are accessing the application and iterations is number of times this particular API will be hit. So suppose we will keep by default what is kept here. That is one user who is trying to hit new homepage API 10 times and we won't change any other setting here. Now we have clicked show results in new session. So obviously new session will be opened when we click on OK. We'll click on OK and you will see there is another session opened and the new homepage API has been hit 10 times as per the iterations which are present. And you will see the details of this session are present here. So if we go to summary, if we first of all, if we go to user, as we have hit the API from user front, you will see the details like overall details of all these APIs in the user section. Here, if you go to summary or first of all, we'll check the overview. Here you will see the request hit were 10. So this particular host and the path was mobile API user was hit 10 times. Then how many of them were incomplete, failed, blocked? all this 
particular section we will be getting the information about the request if we go for timings information you will see when it was started and when it was end like the 10 iterations of this particular api when it started so it it started at 12:350 and it ended at 53 so in 3 seconds all was done the time span you will see request seconds you will see and the duration so 2.19 seconds was the total duration then with respect to dns you will have the information the mean max attempt the connection information you will have here similar if you go to summary you will have the same information mean type body and all so here we will have the size of request total request combined we have this is over here present over here so this is kind of information with regards to all the apis which are hit which is provided by charles similarly if you go to chart section here you will have the information with respect to each api hit and its information is given as per the timeline so how many you know milliseconds were taken for this particular api to hit and the total duration is present here here you can also filter as per the size that is the what was the memory size of it then the duration then the type and flow so this graph is also very much important because it will give you the flow in mbs and the milliseconds so this chart will give you request and response both obviously the request time was very less so you will see a very minor blue graph present here and this is how we can analyze it this is again a singular entry now if you want to perform the same action i'll just close this so now if you want to hit the same api if you go to repeat advance same api considering the concurrency so considering the number of users trying to hitting the api so suppose we have two users and the iteration by which we want to hit it is 10 so obviously two users divided by 10 so it will be five and it will be five iterations of this api but at a time concurrency will be of two users so this will be running to divide or two divide by 10 so it is five iterations we'll have which will be hitting the api so let's see how this go if we just click on ok you will see the number of iterations or how it was hitting you have it 10 but it was hitting by the chunk or by the size of two here also what we can do is if you want to check slowly how this is affecting we will just give a delay of say one millisecond and again we'll click ok now you will see two apis are getting hit after that it is waiting for a second's time and then again two are getting hit but the number of apis totally which will hit is again 10 if you see here it is two the connections which were established comes under connects it is two connections similarly if you want to make it large like if you want to we'll repeat it if you want to say you want to call the api 30 times and there are three users who are concurrently trying to do it you can just say okay and now you will see this set is moved to three so at a time three users are trying to hit this api and you will see that 30 times this particular api will be called here you will see the chunk size was connect size was three and the total hit apis were 30 and again the brief chart or summary chart will be present for this particular set in this chart also you'll get the information when and how this flow was there so this is how the performance estimation can be made with respect to repeat and advanced repeat of single api let's see another important or good feature of this particular repeat set i'll just clear this if we go here as you have seen whenever we launch the application these are the two apis that is new home page and get app text this gets called suppose you want to repeat the set of both the apis that also you can achieve is by clicking on this particular folder and you'll say repeat you will see now two apis got hit again which were present in this session so it means that you have tried to repeat the loading of dashboard scenario launching and loading of dashboard scenario which consists of two apis and that you have tried doing the repeat for user session section directly now i'll just clear this out and let's see how we can use or impact the same using our repeat advance so suppose you want to create the loading of dashboard scenario 
with terms of this iterations like concurrency of three users so three users are trying to open the dashboard and the iteration is 30 so they are trying to do it 30 times to launch the mountain basket application and check the response again the repeating delay we have kept is one second and let's see how this goes we'll click on ok and now you will see this apis are getting hit in chunks so new home page and get app text is getting hit in chunks and again if you go to user you will see the responses here so the total set will be 60 and the connects will be three because there were a set of two apis this is the summary by default which we get here is the total duration it took for hitting so many set of apis and here is the information with respect to timeline again size duration types and flow we have it here so this is how you can actually simulate your requests and check how the behavior goes along by using repeat and repeat advance in charles proxy let's look into the last option again if we, whatever we have in repeat advance so there is one more option whenever we increase the concurrency here you will see there is intra request delay whenever we are running set of apis like multiple apis i'll just cancel this and if i go to this particular single repeat advance for single api you will see you don't have the intra delay option here so what is intra delay now if i want to have delay between new home page and get app text whenever it is hitting in iterations that also i can achieve if i am running this like i am running two apis now at a time so it is giving me intra request delay so i can set delay between new home page and get app text in concurrency of apis so here how we can do that if i say there should be two seconds of delay and we'll just reduce the concurrency to make it quick i'll set it to 10 iterations so that five times the api will be called in a chunk of two users and there will be delay of two seconds between new home page and get app text so let's see how this happens i'll click on ok and you will see new home page and get app text there is a delay so to check the delay also we can check it here clearly you will see now new home page has got called after that it has waited for two seconds and then it has clicked this again new home page has got called there is a delay so the delay section you can see here and then the group overview of the apis which are hit like 20 apis are hit with the connection time of or the connections of two users so this is how we can achieve it so here we have 20 requests which are completed with two user set and the rest of the information is at, as it is present so this is how you can even vary out the you know difference between set of interconnected or the next api which is going to get called so this is in detail about your repeat and advanced repeat option so this was about repeat and repeat advanced option in details stay tuned for next modules of charles proxy please subscribe non-functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you